Hey, what's going on you guys? So, this week we are talking about the five top things you can do to warm up for that front rack position. And it doesn't just include mobility, okay? We know that practicing your front squat and your cleans have tremendous athletic transfer ability. So, it builds midline stability, it builds quad strength, it can help your back squat, right? It can help even your deadlift, all right? So, getting good in the front rack clean positions, those partial flexion, full external rotation, um, catching positions with spinal stability can be very beneficial. So this first part of the video is about um, warm the, the getting hot and sweaty mobility. So the first thing you can do is row, all right? So rowing, be mindful of neutral spine, pinning those shoulder blades down and back, driving those elbows back. So you're gonna do a nice healthy row that gets you hot and sweaty. Rep ranges will be listed underneath. Second thing you're gonna do after you're hot and sweaty is the mobility, not before. So you're gonna get in a lunge position, okay? I'm going to have my foot flat on the ground first, and I'm gonna drive this knee forward, okay? This is for the hip itself, working on that external rotation component when we squat from the hip. It's not coming from the knee, it's coming from the hip. So I'm gonna drive the knee out, drive my upper torso away, look towards the knee, drive that belly button towards my foot, as I push the knee out, so belly button towards the foot, then I can do belly button towards the knee, right? Get a little bit more rotation through my upper torso. <clears throat> I can drive my elbow down towards the ground. Obviously, you notice I'm on a plate. It gives me a little bit more elevation, a little more hip flexion, okay? Because with a front squat, you are going ass to ankles, you have an upright torso. So, driving that elbow towards the ground. Um, I can do some hip circles here. Once I'm good here, I can go ahead and lift up my foot, okay? Peel that foot up and do the exact same thing. Kind of push the knee away, drive that belly button towards my foot, drive that belly button towards my knee, okay? Drive that elbow down towards the ground, okay? I can even do some yogi type stuff, reach up towards the sky, doing a little sun salute, okay? Spend some time here, four or five minutes each leg, all right? So you can test, retest that. You can see there's already a huge change for me, okay? So next thing is the thoracic extension piece. When you're in that upright torso, those extensors need to work and your thoracic spine needs to extend relatively, okay, to a neutral spine. So especially as you go deeper into your squats, you're gonna get knees hip width apart, okay? Elbows are a little outside your shoulders. You can grasp your hands together and I'm gonna sit back, okay? And I'm gonna drive my chest towards the ground. I'm not gonna let myself hang out, but I'm literally going to drive my belly button down. So I'm getting nice extension in my shoulders, nice extension through my back, okay? You might have to adjust your position a little bit, but the whole point is you're getting extension through that upper back, okay? Mid thoracic area. So. That's it for the mobility techniques, you guys. Next will be activation. 